Okay, so today we're going to make a dodecahedron. And so this is a regular uh, dodecahedron. So you can see these nice little pentagons here. And so what we have here is a, a balloon structure made of six different balloons. Um, anyway, it's quite fancy, different than my other dodecahedrons. And let me show you how it's made. It's made with balloons of this shape. And so there are 20 bubbles here. Um, and it's quite easy to make. I made a few of them already, but let me just show you quickly how these are made. Okay, so you blow up a balloon, you leave a bunch, you burp it so it's not, it's a little bit soft, and then you just start making bubbles like a fiend. Lots of twists. I believe there's 10 here. And so you take it, you twist it around, and you make nine more. Okay, so three, three. And then here is an important thing. You don't go back to the original spot but you go back one before it. And so then you have two loops, and then you make a little bit of a push here, a small bubble, and you tie it around like so. And so now you have a nice decagon here, decagon here, and so you have a double bubble here. Okay, so two things. Okay, so. That's how you make one, and of course what we do is we make them in different colors. And so this guy here is going to connect up um, to this guy like this, okay? And so essentially, I put the one bubble here, and then I take two of these adjacent bubbles and I twist them around each other. Again on this side, and if you want, what you can do is you can twist them around more than once, and then sort of lock into place. And so notice the eight here and an eight here. And so what you could do is you could do the next green one, the light green one out this way, or you can add in another one here. And so, notice it's the, the sort of the midsection of the eight, you put in another eight. So I'll now add in this yellow one here, same way. So I'll take two bubbles and I will join them up. One there, and one on the other side. Okay. And now, it also links up with this other green one here. Okay, so, oops, three are now stuck together. And you can sort of start to see how this thing is gonna fit. And we just, uh, I'll, I'll do some arranging later, but now we just keep adding these pieces. And so now I'm going to add um, my second uh, light green one here. And so the eight comes into the side. And... Okay, and so now let's put in this last green one, and so it fits. There's the eight of the, the other one, and it's going to slide in right here. And so you can see that this one came a little undone, and so what I have to do is uh, make sure that bubble uh, locks back. So I'm going to just cheat a bit, put it out, and then twist here, and then right away, move it around. There's the 
one. There's the next one. A little bit hard to see that. But if you notice, there it is, the eight and the eight. And so now you just work your way around. So now you start connecting these up. Here, and then up here. continue on to the, these green ones as well here. And so what you see is essentially we're all done. You can wear this as a hat if you'd like, but uh, all we need is this last yellow one and it fits right in here. And so here it goes. Right there. And we connect it. Here, a little bit, maybe I'll put it here. And once again, we're working our way around to try and make eight. Okay, so here we are with the last uh, connection. Uh, with the last, uh, the last yellow, and so essentially, it's just like you always do, which is you sort of cross them, push them together, and twist. And you notice, as you twist, some of these things may come apart, and you just have to fix them up with the lines. So here, you, you, you make an extra little rotation, and you just keep doing this until all the lines are correct. Okay, and so there are 30 of these connections. And so just make sure when you look at them that you see the original eight that you had. And so essentially there's only six eights here and so it's not that hard to check. And so as long as you see the eights, you're done. And so ha ha. There's another one, right there. So there's the green, the light green eight. But, after some careful look, you will end up with a completed um, dodecahedron. One of the cool things about this balloon design is that if you look on the inside, you can see um, the reflections of the pattern made by the big holes of these pentagons. And so it's a kind of an interesting effect. Um, it almost makes it look like the balloons have texture rather than just uh, being these uh, opaque colors. And so um, that's one of the things I really find fascinating about this design. Hope you enjoyed me making this balloon. And maybe you can make one of your own.